Now, this evening, I thought we'd try and have a, a group discussion, all right? Yes? We'll uh, pick a subject and then uh, we'll all discuss it thoroughly. Now, what would you like to discuss? <coughs> Girls! <laughs> I don't think so, Giovanni. Anybody, any other suggestions? Sport. Sport, yes, good idea. That's a good subject, Max. Right, sport. Now, although uh, most sports are international, there are, of course, various activities which are peculiar to individual countries. For example, the national sport of France is... Um... Football. Good. Well done, Daniel. And the national sport of Italy? Girls. <laughs> That's not a sport. Maybe not, but it's more popular than football. <laughs> Truly, what is the national sport of China? China, excellent at everything, especially table tennis and athletics. Japan, much more athletic, champions of karate. Chinese Kung Fu, much superior to Japanese karate. <laughs> Not so. I'm a black belt. Kung Fu, much inferior. hi Oh! oh yeah. All right, that'll do. Come on, we don't want any more Oriental punch-ups. Go and sit down. <laughs> Right, who can tell me what the national sport of England is? Yes, Jamila? Bowling. Bowling? <laughs> I'm bowling green. Bowling. Oh, bowls? Ah, oh, well, yes, that's not exactly the national sport. No, that honour goes to cricket. Please. I not understand cricket. Well, it's uh, quite straightforward. Uh, there are two teams of 11 men each, and one side goes in, and the other side have to try and get them out. I didn't know you could play it in the doors. <laughs> It's not played indoors. Yeah, but how can somebody be out when he's already out? <laughs> well, I'm trying to explain. You see, the team that is bowling is on the field and the team that is batting is in the pavilion. Now, the first two men, batsmen, come out to go in. And then uh, the first one of those to be out goes back in and then another batsman comes out to go in. <laughs> Is that clear so far? Oh, sure. When he's in, he's not really in, he's out. <laughs> And when he's out, he's not really out, he's in. That's right. Panayamu, it's crazy. <laughs> right, uh, rather than uh, go straight on to a lesson, I thought it might be a good idea if we all talked about what we did at the weekend, right? Give you all a chance to brush up on your English conversation. Right, now who should we start with? Danielle, how did you spend your weekend? I went to Brighton with my new boyfriend. Oh, very nice. And he was very naughty. Yeah, so people usually are in Brighton. <laughs> no, he was naughty on the motorway. Was he? Why, actually? The police were not very happy. Oh, I'm sure they weren't. They made him stop the car. You mean he was driving at the time? Of course! <laughs> how else would he be doing the hundred miles an hour? You mean he was speeding? Yes. What did you think he was doing? <laughs> How about you, Anna? Did you uh, spend the weekend with your boyfriend? Nine, I have no boyfriend. Oh, that's a pity. Everyone should have a boyfriend. I have no boyfriend. <laughs> I, I was referring to the girls, then. No, I was apologies. I once had a bed experience with a boy. A bed experience? Yeah. What, you mean he tried to get you into bed? Nine, <laughs> not bed, sleep. Bed, opposite von Gut. Oh, bad. Yeah, bed. Oh, yes, what happened? I cannot tell you. It was too awful. A Japanese philosopher say, confession, very good for so. Yeah, tell us what happened. Well, you don't have to if you don't want to, Anna. Maybe it is better I get it off my breast. Yes. <laughs> Chest. Yeah. It was dreadful. I still blush when I'm thinking of it. Yes, well, perhaps you better not tell us then. She must! <laughs> Most definitely. I am all your host. <laughs> it was about five years ago, and I was going out with this boy, Court. I was young and innocent. One night we have been to the beer garden, and we have been drinking a lot of schnapps. Afterwards, I'm inviting him to my apartment for coffee. Ooh la la! <laughs> Japanese philosopher also say, men go to ladies' apartment for drink. Uh, usually, end up having nibble. 
Well, I think we'll leave your Japanese philosopher out of it, if you don't mind, Tara. <laughs> Go on, Anna. Well, we sat together on the bed, and he was stroking mine end. <laughs> <laughs> Which end? <laughs> this end. Oh, you have. Oh, dear. I am thinking I am too young to be hearing anymore. Well, you can leave the room if you wish, Ranjit. No, oh, no, I say it is good to be knowing the ways of the world. What happened next, Anna? Kurt was kissing me on my neck. Sacre bleu. <laughs> then he was kissing me on my shoulder. Then he was kissing me all over the place. Go on. But I was feeling all romantic. Then, with all the drink what I had drunk, on the warmth of his body by mine's on the bed, I did something I have always been ashamed of. Well, what did you do? I fell asleep. <laughs> Santa Maria! <laughs> when I woke up, he was gone. How sad. Well, never mind. Turn up. Ah, so. <laughs> How did you spend your weekend? Uh, I go to Paris. Oh, Paris. Yes, sir. Ah, weekend in France, eh? Oh, no, no, not France. England. Uh, Taro. Yes, Chicharo? Paris is in France. Not Buckingham Paris. <laughs> Buckingham Palace. I follow you. Uh, you follow me? Yeah. I didn't see you there. No, 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 no. I mean, I understand that you went to Buckingham Palace. Yes. There I see Loyal Fraggle. Loyal Fraggle? A royal flag? Arso. Awesome. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, Jamila. G. How did you uh, spend your weekend? Weekend. Yeah, what did you get up to? What did you do? Jig, jig. <laughs> you went dancing? No. Jig, jig. <laughs> Film. Maurice Chavale. Thank heavens for little girl. <laughs> ah, Gigi. Ah. Oh, no, no. Max. That's me. Yeah. How did you pass your weekend? Um, Saturday, I go to see the big fight. Ah, a boxing match. No, no, football match. <laughs> and Sunday, I take my girlfriend to see the Tower of London. Oh, very cultural. Did you see the beef eaters? Beef eaters? Yes. No, I only see people eating sandwiches. <laughs> all right, all right. Very funny. Two. One. Uh, what happened to you at the weekend? Por favor. How, how did you spend your weekend? Por favor. A weekend? <laughs> semana. Ah, si, sí, hombre, semana. Saturday, I work in bar. Sunny day, I stay in cama, durmiendo. Eh? Por favor? Oh, I mean, pardon. <laughs> durmiendo. <laughs> you slept? Si, sí, sleep. Yeah, but I thought you were an RC. Por favor. Uh, Roman Catholic. Ah, sí, católico. Espíritu Santo Domini. You said you slept. I mean, surely you're supposed to go to church on Sundays. A God, he tell us. Six days, you work. On the seventh day, you rest. I rest. <laughs> you big sinner. No, sinner. Sí, when you die, you not go to heaven. You go down a hell. <laughs> okay. It's a more friend uh, down the hell than up the heaven. <laughs> Listen, five minutes down there and you'll be just another Spanish omelette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're all right, little dude. Come on, sit down, Giovanni. I presume you did go to church? See, si, every Sunday I go to Mass. Oh, yeah. You're a practicing Catholic, then? I not practice. I'm a perfect. <laughs> In Italy, when I was a little boy, I was going to be a priest. Really? What made you change your mind? <clears throat> well, it's like this. One day, the priest to give a big sermon in the church all about women, girls, and the pleasures of the flesh. And the more he spoke, the more I realized what I would be missing. 